I'm proudly over 45 and I know a thing or two about how to work with the right makeup to adapt to my mature skin so the overall look is more youthful and fresh. Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing some of my best tips and tricks that I've practiced for over 25 years on my clients. And so if you're ready, let's begin. If you have mature skin, to prep your skin, use products that will boost moisture and plumpness in your skin. And I personally love the Tatcha Serum Stick. One, because it's convenient to apply. It's in a stick form. It's convenient to carry around. And it has so many skin useful benefits to keep your skin looking young and plump. I'm going to link all of these products below so you can learn more about each of these products before you invest in them. It's also important to hydrate your lips. And I'm going to be using a lip balm by Jane Iredale. So it keeps my lips moist and prepped for lipstick. While prepping your face, you'll want to use primers that will not only hydrate, but will also smooth out your skin texture. So I'm going to be using the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas to smooth out my skin before I use any other product over it. And you can see instantly how smooth my right side looks as compared to my left side. And that's precisely what we're looking for, especially before applying foundation because it's very easy to kick up with foundation. If you didn't know, you can of course use full coverage foundation on mature skin, but there's a way to use it. Today, I'm going to be using two different shades of foundations, one as a foundation and the other to create dimension instead of a contour stick, which can be thick. For foundation, I'm going to be using Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 3W2, which is cashew. If you plan to use a full coverage foundation, start with as less as possible. You can literally see I took a drop of foundation and I'm distributing it to the center of my face. Try to apply it with your fingers because fingers absorb less and give you more coverage and it gives you more close to skin like finish. And then rather than using a cream contour, I'm going to be using a deeper shade of foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. They have an upgraded version now, which I'm going to link. And this is in the shade Espresso. And this I'm going to apply in the circumference of my face and in the usual places where I contour like the hollows of my cheekbones and to chisel my jawline as well as nose. By doing this, you're using less product by keeping it as one layer. Rather than applying a full face of foundation and then a contour stick to go over it, that becomes two layers and can sometimes look cakey. Here you're keeping it to one layer but still giving that dimension. And foundations are a lot lighter than cream contours. As we age, we also get eight spots and then dark circles and hollows. We obviously want to color correct and then use a concealer over it. But again, that's too many layers. Instead, try this trick. I'm going to mix in a little bit of color corrector with concealer. Now that becomes a concealer with a peach undertone. So you now have two products in one. You have the color corrector and the concealer. And I'm going to apply this under my eyes and wherever I want to spot correct or patch correct. And as you can see, it instantly covers up everything. It's correcting and concealing at the same time in one layer. What I'm trying to say is rather than using too many layers, try to mix products to give you one layer, but the same results. On the same lines, if you have uneven skin or if you have too many wrinkles or fine lines, cream products are your best friends. I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Blush Stick in the shade Natural Rose, which blends in beautifully, by the way. I'm going to be using this on the highest points of my cheekbones to get that lifted effect. And then using the one size translucent loose powder, I'm going to set only in areas where I need to set, which is mostly where my makeup moves in the T-zone. For each of us, this is so personal and so different. You just have to see where you sweat or where you get oily or greasy. You know your face best and that's where you're going to set with the powder. And for the rest of the face, I'm going to lock it with a setting spray. This is the one size until dawn. It's a really strong setting spray. This is the next best thing to hairspray. It sets your face, locks it in and will not let your makeup move. We've taken care of the base makeup. Now let's move on to the brows and eyes. I like to use a brow pencil to fill in my brows. And today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel. 
and the way I like to use it is first use the spoolie to brush my brow hair upwards and then I'm going to fill in the bottom portion of my brows. If you have very sparse brows you can also fill it in with a brow powder or a pomade. Either way try to keep your brows looking light and fluffy so it looks natural rather than overdrawing which can weigh your eyes down. With the rest of the concealer that's left on the concealer brush, I'm going to quickly clean up underneath my brows. If you have hooded or droopy eyes, rather than using a large blending brush like this, go with something that's smaller. That way you can have more focus and control exactly where your crease is. Today I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette in Give Yourself Grace. I'm going to start with this very peachy nude brown shade to warm up my crease and my lower lash line. I'm going to be showing you a look that not only keeps your eyes looking bright, but it also gives you an overall youthful look. Now I'm dipping into this deeper brown shade to deepen my outer corner and I'm going to be repeating it in my lower lash line using a definer brush just in the outer corner. I'm also going to push it outward and upward that will give a lifted effect. And then using regular translucent powder, I'm using one size powder here. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to clean up the inner half of my lid. That's going to make your eyes appear bigger and brighter because it's going to attract more light towards your eyes. And then I'm going to use the same powder to highlight my brow bones. Using the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Pencil, this is an eye pencil and this is in the shade graphite. Rather than doing a chunky eyeliner, I'm going to just line my upper waterline and then I'm going to scribble it in the very outer corner and later smudge it with my finger to get that smoky wing. To finish up, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of the Lash Princess Mascara. This is from Essence, one of the best drugstore mascaras. And that's pretty much it. Quick tip when applying mascara, if you apply it to your lower lashes, it brightens up your eyes and gives you more of a doll-eyed look. And that's why I absolutely love applying mascara to my lower lashes. And if you want to know how not to smudge your mascara in your lower lashes, I'm going to link that video right on top. Here's the completed eye look and as you can see, it makes it look much brighter and more youthful. As we age, the skin around our lips tend to wrinkle and crack. So applying a creamy lip liner might not be your best bet. Instead, try using a fine tip brow pencil as your lip liner. The one that I'm using here is from Koki Cosmetics. I'm going to link it again in the description box. But you can use any fine tip brow pencil and I like it because it doesn't bleed. I'm using a neutral shade that goes well with every lipstick. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick in the shade Secret. And I'm going to top it off with a transparent gloss from Makeup Revolution. For reference, let's look at the before one more time. And here is the after. And I personally feel like I just played around with my features to get a more fresh, youthful look. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys.